so as we've seen, there's been quite a few videos of man caves or whatever you want to call them, showing off some fancy, super shiny, super fast racing bike. But as you know, I'm uh, slow speed. That's because I'm useless at going fast anyway. Um, so here we are in my garage and we're just gonna have a quick tour. Uh, first of all, we've got the bike that I'm riding at the minute. This is one that I'm doing a little bit of practicing at home, mainly just playing in the, in the field, you know, and obviously nobody can go anywhere riding with the kids, having a little bit of fun uh, in this great weather. Um, it would be nice to get back out in the, uh, in the streams again, though unfortunately the Scottish is cancelled. Um, but yeah, that's my, I was gonna say that's my job. It's not a job, is it? Anyway, moving on. This is this is the nightmare of the week because this uh, my lovely, lovely Sunbeam um, does not have a spark. Uh, so yeah, I'm mortified about that because I can't fix it. Um, obviously all the tools and all the bits and all the gear for bending and moving stuff around. And as you can see on my bikes, uh, we are pretty much a British uh, affair. But there is just one uh, sneaking on the end here. I've got a Vespa Douglas 150. Um, not too sure why I bought it apart from the reason that it's called a Douglas. And so am I. So uh, that's a good little bit of fun. I wouldn't say it's a head turn and more people just laugh at you a little bit. Um, moving on, AJS 350 that I bought. Ride this around a little bit on the road actually. Great fun. Um, that's a really nice bike. Um, not the fastest in the world because it's got power gearing, but still a nice, uh, nice ride. This is one of the latest bikes that I bought. It's a Greaves 250 Trials bike. I was actually in South Africa for two wheels for life. Stopped off at the Vertigo Importer there and found this at the back of his garage and fell in love with it. Unfortunately, criminally put uh, some brand new fat bars on, which as you can see from all my bikes as we work our way along. I only like standard. I absolutely hate solver water so There's no polish, it is just how they are. Old bikes are old bikes and new bikes are new bikes. Uh, next bike we've got here is a Norton 500T. This bike was, uh, I've owned it a few years now and when my uncle Sid found the BSA C15 that he won the Scottish Six Days on, this was parked up next to it. So Sid got the Sid got his C15 back and I got this little beauty. Uh, kids ride it around the field. Noisiest thing in the world. And uh, yeah, I'm leaving it just like that. And then here we have one of, one of my personal favorites. This is a 1954 BSA Gold Star Trials bike. Uh, yeah, 500 CC, absolute great noise. Um, it would be great to ride a little bit more if we had a bit more fun, a bit more fun, a bit more time, should I say. But uh, yeah, I just love that bike. I know you're all laughing a bit in the background now, but I don't really care because that is one of my favourites. Uh, this is one of the bikes I inherited from my, uh, my father when he passed away. Um, and we've got a uh, sidecar as well and this is a Scott. So Solo, built in Shipley, uh, water cool, 600cc, pretty iconic bike really, there's not millions of them around, it's in absolutely fantastic condition, um, doesn't run absolutely great, it needs somebody who knows what they're doing to breathe on it a little bit um, and then it'll all be, all be back to uh, flying down the road a bit better than it is now. So there we have it, there's some bikes and uh, better get back to the Sunday. Thank you very much.